Hey folks, today we're going to make a number guessing game where your phone chooses a random number and you have to guess it. We'll also add a couple of extra little features to spruce things up. Okay, let's get started. I'll start with a vertical arrangement, which is going to allow me to stack elements on top of each other. I'll set it to fill parent on both height and width so that it fills the whole screen. I'll choose a label next. I'm going to use this to give the player a little message. And because I want everything to be centered in the middle of the screen, I'm going to go back to the vertical arrangement properties and change the alignment for horizontal to center. The message will read, I'm thinking of a number between one and 30. Next, we'll grab a text box, which is where players will enter their guesses. Now we need a button for players to register their guess. And we'll just go ahead and rename that. Text is a little small. Let's go ahead and make that bigger. Now everything's a little too smushed together, too close. We don't really want that. So what we're going to go and do to make spaces between everything, we're going to add some vertical or horizontal arrangements between each element. You can set the sizes to whatever you like, whatever suits you. I'm setting mine to 10%. So we actually need another label, which is going to display whether the guess was right or wrong. And we'll leave this empty so that it only shows when there's a guess. I want everything to be in the middle, so I'm going to change the vertical arrangements, vertical alignment to center as well. And that's it for the design aspect. Now let's head over to the blocks. First, we'll make a variable. This is going to create the random number. We'll call it my number. Next, we'll choose the random integer block from the math section. We'll set the numbers between 1 and 30, so you can set the numbers to anything you want, between 1 and 100, 1 and 1000, 2000, whatever you like. Now we're going to create the logic for the guess button. So when the player clicks on the button, it's going to check to see if the guess was right or wrong. We we'll use an if block for that. If 
from the guest box section, we'll take the text and check it against the random number that the computer selected. The math plot will check to see if the number the user entered is equal to the random integer. If it is, we'll display a message that says their guess was correct. We'll change the right or wrong text using a text block. Now, if their guess was wrong, let's give them a message to let them know it was wrong. You can just go ahead and copy the block from above. And that's the basic app done. But we don't want to leave it there, do we? We want to make it a bit more interesting. First, let's show the player what the correct number was. And we'll do that by using a text joining block. Here, we'll simply add the value from the number variable, which is the random integer. Let's add another feature. Let's make the text different colors for right and wrong. The right and wrong text color block will handle this. So when the guess is correct, the message will be green, and when it's wrong, it will be red. I'm just going to go back here and change the font size of the message so that it's a little bit bigger. Okay, moment of truth. Let's test out our app. I'll speed this part up because I had a lot of wrong guesses. We could be there forever trying to guess this number. So why don't we let players know whether the random number that the computer selected was higher or lower than their guess? We'll use less than and greater than math blocks for this. So if the user's guess is less than the random integer, the message will say the number is greater than that. And if the guess was greater than the number, then the message will say the number is less than that. Now let's see what that looks like. But what if we wanted to keep playing the game over and over again? 
The only way currently to do that would be to restart the app and go back to it. So let's create a reset button. I'd like to put the reset button next to the guess button. At the moment, I can't do that because everything is aligned vertically. So I'll need to add a horizontal arrangement and put the guess button and the reset button inside that. And let's change the background of the reset button to red. And we'll change the font color to white so that it stands out. Now we'll code the logic for the reset button. We'll say that when the reset button is clicked, the random number resets and the computer chooses a new number. We also want to reset everything else, all the different parameters, so we'll change the right or wrong text back to empty as well. And just because we can, we'll do the same for the text in the guest box. Now let's test out our app. Just a quick note, as you may have already experienced, you'll get an error if you try to enter something that's not a number. We don't want that to happen. So what we're going to do is allow only numbers to be entered. We can do that over here in the Properties section by selecting Numbers Only. So now the app screen will look like this. I hope this has been helpful for you. Go ahead, make your own one. Add some more features while you're at it. Cheerio.